As I stood in front of the window and looked out, I couldn't help but close my eyes and let my quivering face help escape the tears that hid within me for so long. This ship I'm on is heading towards Grand Line. Luffy and the others look so calm about it. Aren't they worried about Zoro? Zoro would leave soon. He will leave me in one week. This is exactly the thought that kept me unhappy and awake. Sigh, the sound of the waves aren't helping me to sleep either. It is only reminding me the loneliness ahead of me. I hate this. This is so unfair. Why did Zoro tell me he likes me before he leaves? Why did he have to embrace and kiss me in that soft yet passionate way? Although it makes me relieved to know I'm not in love alone, he is only making me ever more miserable to live without him. I wonder what he is doing now. Sleeping like the others. Not caring about the girl in a room desperate for him not to leave her. More tears left my cheeks as I wiped him away with annoyed and quivering fingers. Knock knock asterisk for a second, the sound frightened me and I wished it wasn't Zorro behind the wooden door. Knock knock I didn't dare to make a move so I just stared at the door with wide and frightened eyes. Knock knock even though I prayed for the person behind the door not to be Zorro, I became a little happy to see it was him all along. Why didn't you open the door? Zorro asked as he turned away from me to close the door and turned around again. He didn't sound annoyed or anything. Instead he sounded as if he was hurt by the actions I should have but did not do. I was sleeping, I lied trying to look away from him. Oh sorry. I saw a bright light source shining underneath the door of your room so I thought you weren't sleeping. In a pleading voice, Zorro apologized. Quote ellipsis dot quote. I didn't reply anything because I didn't want him to talk to me in the tone of voice. I'm scared that I might break down and beg him to not leave me if he stayed in this room any longer. Sniffs. Are you crying? Asked Zorro in a cautious way. I guess he knew what the answer was already and I don't like it. I am crying. And I feel hopeless. No. Why are you here? I turned around and screamed. You'll wake up the others. Zorro said with his finger before his lips. They are sleeping beneath two floors, in the basement. My room is specially made for navigators. Others can't hear us in here. And we can't hear them as well. Oh, Zorro replied as he stared at the floor. You didn't answer me yet. Why are you here? I demanded. I wanted to see you alone before I leave. I'm just afraid through this last week with you, I might not get a chance. Why do you bother? You've chosen to leave me already, so these couple of days doesn't matter against eternity. Stop acting that way. You know I love you very much. No. I don't know. I'm not physic. Stop assuming I understand everything. I hate you. I screamed. Then Zoro stepped forward to hug me forcefully as I lightly punched and kicked him hoping he would let go of me. But it didn't help. Instead, it encouraged Zoro to press his lips against mine. I felt his tongue against my own. The enthusiastic kiss made me calm down. Please. Let me hold on to you before I leave. I want to know and be sure that you are mine for these last couple of days. Zoro begged as he held me even more firmly and pressed his face against the corner of my forehead. Why do you have to leave? Come to Grand Line with us. You can become the greatest swordsman there too. I implored. I'm not qualified to fight against them. I need to train myself. Afterwards, I promise to come back to you. No. I complained until once again Zoro trapped my tongue with his. Then he moved downwards to my neck and then shoulders. I was breathing hard and nervous. What is happening? Are we going to make love? Nami, can I? Zoro asked lightly as he looked into my eyes searching for an answer. I closed my eyes and nodded shyly. What did I just do? 
Zoro unbuttoned my dress from the chest to the stomach and allowed the dress to slip down. Zoro examined my body for a second then effortlessly picked me up and placed me gently on the bed. This is it. I told myself as I swallowed to damp my dry mouth. Then Zoro took off his shirt as I untied the cloth that held onto his chinos. I was surprised by what I was doing. For some sort of reason I was scared. Is it normal? I'm going to be even closer to the man I love but I'm scared. Some part of me wanted to stop this but it wasn't enough to stop my passionate love for Zoro. Zoro pulled down my bra and placed some soft yet wet kissed on my breasts. I felt like he was taking away my energy. I felt weak and I couldn't think. Zoro kissed my neck and started to work his way down. Eventually he came to, there. He pulled down my underwear and I couldn't help but gave a small frightened yelp. Zoro stopped. Nami. If you don't want to, we can stop. It doesn't have to happen now. I can wait. No. I wanted Zoro. I wanted him so badly. I'm sorry. I know I want it. I'm just scared, cause it's my first time. Zoro. I want you. I said shyly. Zoro smiled as he pinned my arms down by my sides and wiped my tears away, placing his mouth against mine. This time I opened up my mouth and he slid his tongue in, then we started to kiss. The hungry kiss that was Zoro and I began. It was one that got faster and faster, harder and harder. When he'd finished, he let me go and I pulled down his boxes, exposing him to me and showing me exactly how excited he'd become. I took hold of him in my hand and began to gently caress, until I left Zoro gasping for more. I stopped and pulled him down to me. I could feel his sweat beneath my fingers and as we kissed, it mingled with mine. Zoro slowly pushed a finger, then another, inside me and moved him around gently, causing me to moan. Zoro then lay down on top of me as I opened my legs. He then pushed his tongue into my mouth, kissing deeper and deeper, knocking the breath out of me. I felt his member against my leg, hard and throbbing. Using a hand he guided it towards me, slowly pushing forward until the full length was inside me. At first there was an uncomfortable feeling but then it started to twist to a great feeling I couldn't describe. It wasn't as bad as the magazines explained it to be. I moaned as I felt it go in. Then our bodies started to thrust against each other in reflected movements. Each of us became more and more excited as each thrust went by, each of us moaning more and feeling the heat. Zoro tried to move slowly, but as the passion took over our bodies. We moved fast, each thrust was so powerful, making my body pound downwards. Zoro ran his hands over my chest, and I ran mine all over his back. Kissing my face and neck, as I did the same. We never broke contact, we remained united, hands everywhere, kisses exchanged incessantly. As we neared the climax, Zoro took my hands and we held on as he came first, closing his eyes and calling my name, followed by me. I cried out to him and pushed against him as the ecstatic feeling swept through my body and left me breathless. After a while, we just lay there silently without a word. I couldn't believe that it happened to us. It was just a moment ago I felt so lonely. Now I feel all right. I believe in Zoro. Are you all right? Doesn't it hurt for girls? Asked Zoro softly as he kissed my forehead. I'm all right. I smiled as I hugged him. Phew. That's a relief. Everything was so wild before. I just couldn't stop and make sure it didn't hurt you. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. You didn't do anything wrong. I wanted you. It was my choice. I said. What's on your mind? About whether I should leave you or not? Replied Zoro. I wanted to say he shouldn't leave me. But I couldn't. I don't want to stop his dream. 
I'll be all right. I'll wait for you. I love you, Nami. Bye. What else can I say? Zoro said as he covered his eyes, hiding the tears from me. It was then I felt my heart ripping apart to see the one I love, crying because of me. I love... I love you too, Zoro. Promise me you will come back. I said as I forced him to take off his arm across his eyes to look at me. I promise. Zoro replied as he wiped away my tears. Why didn't you open the door? Zoro asked as he turned away.